What's going on, Star Wars fans? You're watching the Collectors Hub. My name is Chris, and we're going to be checking out one of the newest Star Wars, the Black Series action figures. We have the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian from the TV show, The Mandalorian. Now, this is a Best Buy exclusive. It's a couple dollars more, but it's totally worth it. So with all of that being said, let's get right to this review, and we'll start off with the box. All right, guys, as you can see, the box is a little bit bigger, just like that General Grievous we got a while back. This is a deluxe action figure, so you have a really nice image of the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian on the bottom right-hand side. D2, like always, a description on the back with the same image just enlarged. And you have that Disney and Hasbro logo on the bottom right-hand side. All that good stuff. Box is really nice. Great image. Let's get right to the figure. All right, guys, here he is, the heavy infantry Mandalorian in all his glory. He looks phenomenal. The figure came out really nice. There's a lot of nice weathering going on. Like, this guy's been through a lot of battles and stuff like that. He has this really cool jet pack, and this powers the gun and also powers this other weapon that's attached to his wrist. Now, that could be an additional gun or a flamethrower i'm not sure yet we've only seen him use this heavy blaster and i love seeing this dude in action with all the other mandalorians it was really like a dream come true all right so before we get into the articulation let's just take a look at this weapon it's really cool i love the fact there's a few different colors going on and what's really nice too is that you can attach it to the rocket pack now there's a little peg right there and a hole and you just push it right in and how cool does that look all right so his head's on a ball joint left right up and down side to side a lot of nice movement with the head actually rocks front and back as well Nice movement there. Arms go up and down. What I absolutely love is the shoulder armor. It's made out of a soft vinyl material, so it moves when you lift the arm. So that is awesome. No restrictions there. Elbows do bend and swivel. There are wrist joints to allow the hand to go front and back, and they swivel as well. Waist goes side to side and front and back. Legs go up and down. There is a joint on the upper portion of the leg to allow the leg to swivel. Knees do bend and goes all the way back, which is sweet. I thought there was gonna be a restriction here. This um, bottom cape here is made out of a uh, soft vinyl material as well, so it moves very easily. Nice. Ankle joints, allow the foot to go up and down and side to side. I mean, for a very bulky character action figure, sure does move freely. Very, very happy with the articulation here. Really nice weather in here. The helmet's a little beat up, which I absolutely love. Gives it a lot of character. I mean, this dude is super intimidating. You don't want to mess with this guy. All right, so let's take a look at the rocket pack and the heavy blaster. Now, I really like the design of the rocket pack. It's really cool, and the coloring is really nice. Clean paint app. It looks like it's a little dirtied up, too, which is great. The gun looks awesome. It looks like a Gatling gun. And one of the handles swivel right here. And as you can see, you can attach it right to the side of the rocket pack, just a peg in a hole which looks great on him, and I'll show you that in just a bit. And if you're wondering if these hoses are removable from the rocket pack, they sure are. So if you want to display them just with the rocket pack, you definitely can. 
I really like that they made it so you can detach it. It's really, really great design. And great fits. Boom. All right, guys, now we're going to attach the rocket pack and the heavy blaster. So there's a hole and a peg on his back. You just push that in, press it in real good. And then this hose attaches to the weapon on his forearm, like so. And then you just pull the heavy blaster right off. Now there's three grips here. Like I mentioned, this one swivels. There's one on the back, one in the middle, and one on the front. Now, when we saw him in action, I believe he was holding it from the back. Like so. And boom. How cool does this look? I absolutely love this character. The figure came out dynamite. Like I said, it's a Best Buy exclusive. I pre-ordered mine online and just did a store pickup and it was beyond easy. So I definitely recommend doing that if there's a Best Buy very local to you. But this is definitely a must have. He looks amazing right next to the Mandalorian. And I can't wait to see this dude continue to throw down. TV show is phenomenal. And like I said, he's voiced by our boy, John Favreau. So we'll do one last close-up. Awesome paint application. And he stands super good on his own. So there he is, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. Boom. This is the way. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this review. Please let me know what you think about the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. I think he came out awesome and the character totally rocks. If you want to see more of me, go to thecollectorshut.com. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right here on YouTube. And please subscribe, comment, and share. I love hearing from you guys. The support is amazing. And keep tuning in because I have so much more to share with you guys. Like always, may the force be with you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a bunch.